there my friends, Kevin Steinman coming at you with the Mobile Minute. Wow, uh, pretty much a lot of just numbers today. So uh, I'll just start off with App Annie. They published a report yesterday that kind of pissed Apple off saying that their numbers they had were inaccurate. So they went through a couple of disputes. But nonetheless, they have a quarter four index chart that they published and that I wrote an article on to kind of sum it up because otherwise it's like three pages long and you know who the heck has time to read three pages anymore so anyway um, fix who also had a report that they published last month which I think is um, pretty important to look at just to kind of get an idea of why the market has kind of maintained the steady growth that it has primarily revolving around the fact that back in October people were kind of reluctant to upgrade to iOS 6 and because of that um, when they did they kind of had to go through the process of obviously getting their old apps back but also finding out the new apps that were more um, specifically made for iPhone 5. Next thing uh, Apple is actually uh, going to China now so they just made their press release and it's apparent that the iPhone 5 is going to be available on December 7th and the iPad with Wi-Fi will be available on the 14th. Um, actually I also posted another article on this really cool umbrella that basically you hold it like a stick and it shoots air out the top and it prevents the water from getting on you so it's just like a handle it's very cool and I definitely encourage you to check it out. If you like that kind of stuff it's like out of Star Trek or something <laughs> seriously um, anyway I also did top five apps of the week I know I said I was gonna do 10 but really you know with the amount of content that I publish every single day it's very hard to collaborate with developers that want to get their apps featured or also to find apps that are doing something innovative or noteworthy as far as marketing design or downloads are concerned so um, top five apps the number one was was with the cause it's actually a cool app that features none other than Steve Wozniak so uh, I thought that was worth mentioning number two was Asphalt 7 very cool racing game that you guys should check out number three was cut the rope it's a fun little game for kids but also amusing to adults and I wrote an article about that exact topic which I think is very important when you're designing your app you want to have something that's appealing to children but attractive to adults it's almost like when you go to a PG movie or a movie made by Disney or Pixar for instance Wreck-It Ralph I just saw that a couple weeks ago when I was uh, in Thanksgiving holiday you know they have the imagery and they have the story that's appealing to children but they have those certain innuendos and puns that only adults will understand so it's entertaining to both and when you're designing your app you want to keep that into consideration that the gameplay should have that difficulty as well to be amusing to adults and entertaining to them not just for children because at the end of the day kids are going to grow up fast and they're going to want a challenge too so uh, that's number three number four iron fist is uh an anticipated app that looks very promising i put their youtube video on the article and I'd encourage you to check that out and number five is an app that helps you coordinate write and schedule all your Facebook birthday comments in one sitting so you can wish all your friends happy birthday and schedule that automatically instead of having to do it every time when Facebook reminds you so that's it for the mobile minute I will probably speak with you guys again on Monday unless there's something really crazy that happens this weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye.